Okay, so there's a few new messages, uh, variable messages that come in. These are the normal ones that you've seen from before. Last message where there's a MIDI message coming in or going out and some uh, SMPTE stuff. So if I send it a few messages here, one second. So I sent it some control change messages and uh, it comes up with the last message which is control change on channel 1 controller 33 uh, value 96 but now they're separated out into individual um, variables say so the channel controller message and value now if this was a note message of some sort then it would give you a uh, um, a note value, a note, uh, velocity, note channel. So let's uh, pause for a second and I'll take a look at that. Let's see if I can send it a note message instead. Um, so I'll go back here and I'm going to go to my IEC bus. And then int variables now. Let's go to terminal. Okay, so I'm going to send a note on message. So on uh, this is going to be note one, velocity one. So you see last note comes up as one, last velocity is one, and uh, channel is one. So if I do on uh, 6120, for example. So last note is 60, last velocity is 120. And if I want to, and so see, it matches the last message, but the values have been split out to make it, to make it easier. Um, off 6120, and you got note off. So you got the type, the 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 uh, channel, last note, last value. So with that, we can use. Um, we should be able to set up a trigger a lot simpler um, for um, pushing a button. So check value when a message comes in and the message is a note on message uh, trigger press and release of the of the uh, button that's come in uh, and I did a text color actually let's do and yeah I did a text color change just so we can see that it's actually working so if I was to send a um, let's send a, so this is channel one, uh, note number zero, velocity one. Let's see if that works. So if I do on, uh, zero one, you see the first channel did actually, uh, get pressed. And if I go on zero two, it's the second button, right? If I go on one one it should be the next page the next line down and you see that button's uh pressed it's a, a long running button with a lot of delays in it so it's um it's going to take a little while uh it didn't have any text on it so if i put some text on that uh long midi come on And then uh, go back and uh, do that again. The messages. Okay, so on one one. So I to uh, change the color to show you. So anyway, that's uh, going to be easier for the receive a message, receive a note message, and. Um, 
press a button. So that's uh, one of the things that's new in the new module. Cool, cool.